The next song on light work is called Heavy Burden. It's one of my favorite songs on the record. It's a bit of a puzzle to be sure to figure out. Where I'm at musically uh, lately and have been over the past few years and, and am still as I've been writing lately, I realize. And if what I'm doing lately uh, doesn't appeal, I think I've got a few more years of that before I before I have worked through it. But one of the things that has been really appealing to me is is sound right so it's like every riff is like its own world its own little and although i um experimented with a much more uh straightforward type of songwriting on on light work for a lot of it like call of the void and equinox moon people light worker a lot of the earlier songs i'm still really really interested in being surprised by what comes next in a song. And Heartbreaker was an example of that, but Heavy Burden is is a real example of that. And I remember while writing this song, really being happy with it because it just was so, it was like there was, it was like high resolution sounds, very defined and um, high contrast kind of, separation between sounds and it has a trajectory that makes sense to me yet it doesn't repeat itself in a way like a, a standard structure does and so to be able to get that song on the record for me whilst working with a team on this record was very important to me and, and so I put a lot of time into heart or into heavy burden um, on my own like I put on uh, choir and, and all these things and it was kind of like my pet project while we were working together on the more straightforward songs. Heartbreaker was something that had nothing to do with the whole light work um, uh, theme. So when that one went on, it kind of added to the kind of uh, confusion that, that in the beginning, Heavy Burden was the only one that was going to be like that. But, you know, say la vie. Conceptually, Heavy burden. I mean, the thing that's that I really liked about that song at first is, you know, I had a lot of people that were saying to me uh, over the course of the last um, five, ten years, like, Devin, we want you to be heavy, be heavy, man. Like, and no matter how many times I say, listen, I the things that inspired that, the unhealthy things that were going on with me in terms of like what I was putting into my body and and the the social things that I was uh, participating in not only do those not exist but the but the process of how I create music is one of uh, reduction in a way it's like if if you work through things once a record's done you're able to say unless you're just a masochist okay the things that were causing me problems I recognize now and I'd be a fool to continue doing that it'd be foolish to repeat that and for better or for worse, on a career level, um, the decision that I made years ago was to, well, two things, to learn from my mistakes, but also to accept the fact that there's going to be people that are never going to see me as anything other than that. There will, there will always be people that think of me as being crazy or, or, you know, the guy from Strapping Out Lad, because, you know, at a certain period in my life, I maybe I was, right? I know I certainly was the guy from Strapping Out Lad. And in terms of being crazy, well, I mean, I messed around with a lot of things that, that made me do crazy things, but I'm not sure I was ever legitimately crazy. But, you know, one of the things that I've had to make peace with is the fact there's going to be people that will always see me as that. And so heavy burden, in a sense, I like, there's that one, I think it's the second verse where it's, where people were, at the time I was writing it, people were saying, you need to be heavy, you need to be heavy, you need to be heavy. So I wrote that second one. I was like, heavy, heavy, heavy. <laughs> and I really like that. And I guess the burden, if you're looking at it from, um, from the point of view of what the title represents, is that, well, we've all got our own burdens, whatever that may be. I can only speak for myself because I'm me, but... Part of the musical burden for me has been knowing that I made a decision to follow what I want to follow 
regardless of whether or not it's something that, you know, the scene that I was involved with wants. Or, you know, I think it's funny too because you, you, you have all this obligation as an adult, like you got kids and a mortgage and parents and you want to be able to provide and, and it's, again, very seductive when people are saying, if you do that thing that you don't want to do, but you know you can do it, we'll pay you a lot of money. It's like, man. But like the old adage goes, um, it's better to be better to be disliked for who you truly are than to be loved for who you are no longer. And so heavy burden, I guess, conceptually for me, it was about it's difficult to not play into what it is that people want me to do all the time. But it's the decision that I've made because I think, I know, for me at least, that the objectives for my life require me sorting these things out prior to not being here anymore. And anything else is a waste of time. And all the things that came prior, strapping and the mistakes I made or drugs or any of these things were like, lessons that I needed to learn, right? So, heavy burden. That's that song. Yeah.